Carson. 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 The, uh, the two third down runs. Uh, can you just was the first one an RPO and was the second one just kind of improvised? The first one, first one was a, a naked play and um, Dan just got wide, so I just saw green grass, took it. Um, second one was a screen play. Guy was in the throwing lane and just kind of took it and ran and made a play. And um, that drive was huge. That drive was huge. Those plays were huge. The, the way we were able to run the ball in that drive, um, the way we could finish the game like that, that was big for us. The second one. Lost the phone. That's my phone. I got you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Carson, how tough was it to adjust from quarter to quarter, switching fields? Inside, the ball. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting weather. Uh, interesting weather, um, probably as windy as I've played in. Um, took me back to the good old days on the on the playground, probably back in North Dakota, that wind. But, um, yeah, I mean, you, had, you were cognizant of which direction you were going with the wind, against the wind. And, um, you know, that, to some extent, that maybe changes play calls a little bit. Um, but uh, the way we were able to run the ball today, that was huge for us. That second run, uh, take me through that. When did you realize that you were better off talking and running? Um, right when the DN was in the throwing lane. And at that point, I was I just went into improv mode and, and made a play. Um, the guys had a screen set up for the receiver, and I just tried to get, get in behind it as best I could. You had another third down conversion on that drive to pass the uh, Zach down inside the five. <coughs> what, what did you see there? Was he the first progression on that? Uh, he he crushed his guy off the line. You know, I saw his release, um, and, and that was that was the route right there. And he, he got wide open on the corner, did a great job. And I know he had a really quiet game otherwise, but you know when we needed him, uh, he he stepped on mid each play. Carson, Carson, there's been so much turmoil on and off the field the last few weeks. How does a win like this on the road in tough conditions help bring you guys together? Yeah, this win was huge for us. Obviously, um, conditions going on the road every time. I mean, shoot, this was our third straight road game. That's, that's tough, you know, to do what we did today, um, to stay together throughout everything and, and to come out and get a big win against a really good football team. Um, that was huge for us and will give us a lot of confidence going forward. Carson, why do you think the three step motion works so well in this game? Um, you know, I think it's just something that we, we like to do. Um, here and there to just kind of you know move the front a little bit, get them you know get their eyes um, looking at different things, the jet motions, those types of things, and uh, we were able to do that and do that effectively tonight. The Miles Sanders touchdown, having Jordan in there as well, Jordan's block. Yeah, that was um, sweet. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> that play I guess was put in this week. What, what can that give you when you have the two running backs? Yeah, I mean, I the first thing I said to Miles, you better give your other boy some love on that because Jordan's block was sweet. I had front row view on that, um, and to have explosive run like that, I mean, it's been a while since we've really broke a long touchdown run like that. Um, and conditions like like they were today, uh, that was huge. That was huge. And Jordan um, being selfless the way he, he did, turning into a fullback right there. Um, I can't say enough good things about those two with, guys. With that kind of weather, how long does it take to sort of calibrate uh, you know how much you have to adjust your mechanics and stuff. Yeah, I mean you try not to adjust anything, and you know some you just have to chalk it up. The, the wind's going to do its thing at times, you know, and so you just uh, obviously you guys saw I was wearing gloves, I was doing something different, but um, you know guys guys made plays, um, and, and we were smart with with how we you know attacked in the passing game when when we did. Did you see different things in terms of trying to figure out if you needed to wear gloves? Like how, how did that work? Yeah, pregame definitely came out and was trying it with with and without gloves, and um, the gloves was uh, ended up being a good decision, um, to, especially with the rain and everything. So, um, but yeah, it was a huge win for us. Was there one pass that sort of sailed? It seemed uh, rolling out right. Yeah. was that Zach? I think I'm just thankful there was only one that sailed. So yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, just like got away from me. What have you seen from Miles as far as I mean, obviously the running game production hasn't been those once, but from just a confidence standpoint, and him yeah. getting better every week in practice. Um, he's been awesome. He, he's been an incredible rookie. Um, the way he's come in and just wanted to learn, wanted to work. Um, you know, he's obviously had some huge plays in the passing game for us, and able to understand um, what we're trying to do offensively in the passing game, uh, in the blitz pickup game, um, and then obviously running the ball. He's always been that big play threat, and to, to get a big one tonight uh, or this afternoon, that was huge for us. When you look back at this this week and everything you guys kind of went through on and off the field, is there something in that team meeting that maybe you felt? carried over into this game? Um, I just think, you know, I said it last weekend um, after the loss to Dallas, you know, I said, you know, I think this is going to bring us closer together. And then obviously there was a lot of other outside uh, noise and everything, but guys were able to just stay together and, and stay focused on the task and um, keep bringing the energy to practice, keep bringing the focus, and we were able to come away with a, a big victory today. So you guys approach your, uh, your leadership role this week? Did you, did you challenge you guys? Or how, what did you yeah, I mean, try just try and keep everyone together. You know, I mean, it's... It's easy uh, when, when losses come to, to want to point fingers and guys, you know, just trying to make sure everyone's on the same page going forward uh, with everything going on. And, and guys did a really good job responding. You guys are at the halfway point of the season now. You're 4-4. Four four. 
sure that's not what you wanted to be at this point, but how do you feel about where the team sits right now as you head into the second half? Yeah, I mean, I feel huge. This was a huge win. Uh, I feel good about it um, against a really good team on the road. Um, like you said, four and four is not what we what we wanted to where we wanted to be, but to to come away with a victory here, um, hopefully this can propel us going forward. And I feel good um, going forward that you know we're going to be able to do some good things. I'm would, would you would you like to use more 21, 22 personnel just because <clears> of <throat> the you have in that backfield? Um, I think we do a really good job of mixing up uh, our personnel. You know, from uh, doing eleven, getting three wide outs, to getting two tight ends, to um, you know we able to get Big V out there in, in some running situations as well and. Uh, I think Coach does a really good job of mixing up the personnel and, and playing the matchups uh, wisely. When you get the opportunity to run, do you feel like it just, it just plays to your strengths? Um, you know, I still don't. I mean, a lot of those guys are a lot faster than me, so I do not want to run uh, ever. But uh, when I'm out there, you know, got to make a play. Uh, we were able to do that. And, um, you know, again, I'm not seeking running or anything, but when it's there, I'm going I'm to do it. It does seem like, Carson, that when you either run or there's something called that gets you in motion, that the offense seems to open. Um, I think it did today, uh, for sure. I think, um, you know, coming in, obviously with the conditions, uh, bigger emphasis on the running game. So to be able to, to run some of those play action bootlegs and those things, uh, I thought were, were huge for us today and it's something we can keep building on. Yeah, just how much pressure to take, take off your shoulders? How much pressure to take off your shoulders when you guys are running the ball and doing it so successfully? It's huge. It's huge, and it's it's really our our recipe. You know, it's you know it's how we want to be. We want to be able to run the ball. We want to be able to establish the line of scrimmage, um, and we were able to do that today. Well, you, right. had, you had the game in Green Bay. You had this one, both real critical swing type games. Yeah. Nice to win them, but how much of the message going to be? We'd like to avoid these situations. Yeah. Start to bring some wins together. Yeah. I mean, without a doubt. Um, Hopefully this can propel us going forward. Um, and, and you know, I don't want to call them swing type of games, but these are big wins, big key wins on the road um, against you know like the Green Bay team. This this is a great team too, um, and to come in here and, and get a big win. Um, like I said, hopefully this can propel us going forward. And now, thankfully, we're at home a couple weeks, so uh, that, that'll help a lot. What does, the what, does it, what does it say about the guys in the locker room? Like you said, there's a lot going on this week, a lot of outside noise that you were able to kind of, as a group, to kind of keep it together? Uh, it, it's huge, and I think that speaks a lot to, to the veterans and just um, guys, you know, being hungry, uh, hungry to get back on the field and um, get that, that losing taste out of their mouth and stay together. You know, we, we try and do everything we can to block out all the, the extra noise and everything, and uh, guys were able to do that and do that well this week. Of course, I know you have that. trouble finding its stride early, and then how much did you feed off that Brandon Graham uh, strip sack, whatever it was? Uh, and I think you scored touchdowns for yeah, I mean that, that was huge. You know, anytime the defense can uh, can create a turnover, um, that's huge. And then obviously for us to take advantage of that, to the good field position, to, to take advantage of the momentum, um, that's really what we try and do every time we step on the field. You know, the defense we try and control the ball um, offensively, but when the defense can create a turnover, we got to capitalize, and we were able to do that today. Carson, 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 the play that got close was your, your throw, so you could keep the wind, I think, to Ertz on the sideline. Yep. What did you see on that play? Um, Ertz did a great job um, getting open, creating separation. Um, and, uh, you know, like I, I said earlier, it, it might have been a slower day for him um, with, with catches, but, you know, in the game on the line, like like it was, big, huge play opportunity like that, um, he did a great job getting separation, and uh, I could have almost punted that one to him. He was going into the wind there. How did you, did you have confidence? Yeah, I just, he was so open, you know, yeah. so I just find a way to get it to him. And probably, you know, better ball, he probably gets in the end zone. But I'm just glad we completed what it. Two more questions. We have time for two more. To Alshon down the left side in the third quarter. What was that play? Um, that was a big one for us, you know, something that we saw um, the first half. So it was a good adjustment that we made at halftime coming out, and we were able to take advantage of it and, and get a huge play. How much hey, you Last question. Last question. How much do you guys enjoy those long drives when you're able to kind of close your will? That's what we try and do. That's what we try and do uh, offensively, and especially in the fourth quarter like that, with kind of the, you know the game up in the air the way it was. Um, that's the type of drive we want to want to have and, and seal the deal. Zach, go ahead. You got one. Oh, thank you. Like you said, you got recipe with running the ball. You're the franchise quarterback. What what makes that the recipe? We just want to establish line of scrimmage. You know, I think that's with the the big big guys up front that we have. Um, that's that's one of their biggest strengths in establishing the line of scrimmage. And I think everything else that we do, from the play actions, from the bootlegs, the nakeds, um, all of that stems from from those guys controlling the line of scrimmage. So to be able to come in here and control it the way we did uh, was huge for us. Okay, thank you guys. Thanks.